Hey there, this week I'm going to be redoing my DVDs, so people have been asking for an overview of some of the stuff, so uh, you're going to get some stuff here and there, but uh, let's look at some of it right now. Up top I have the uh, John Wayne John Ford collection, followed by the John Wayne film collection. Uh, war set, I've got Downfall, we've got Hitler. Right now, I got a lot of stuff put in different places. Fernando De Leo set, by my Joan Crawford set, my uh, Hollywood musicals set, my Jacques Tati set. I'm very proud of that one, actually. Uh, my Doctor Who series one, two, three, and four. My complete James Bond collection. Uh, my Better Half's uh, Golden Girls collection, all the shows. Uh, Dune, the TV movie, way way better than the movie. Air Limits, the Canadian edition. Um, my Better Half's favorite series, The Persuaders, Series 1 and Series 2. My Tyrone Power, Earl Flynn, her Zykinski collection. Of course, gotta have the Godfather collection. Her uh, Lord of the Rings set. Heroes, se Season 1 and 2, got bad after that, but I'll get them down the road. I'm a completist. How uh, the Complete Miami Vice, the Complete Magnum P.I. Uh, Doctor Who, I've got a lot of here. You're gonna see a, a bunch of original Doctor Who sh ones. I got uh, from all the doctors. That's my daily collection. That's the newest one. Uh, WC Fields, Man of Feather Earth. Uh, of course, I have a lot of the uh, Boris Karloff, Bell Ghost sets, The Bad Girls, Film Noir, Forbidden Hollywood. There's about eight of those now. I gotta pick up the rest. Universal Horror, Inner Sanctum Mysteries is a really good set. There's my Alfred Hitchcock essential set was given me for my birthday a couple years ago. I've got the Claude Colbert set, Mom Pot Kettle, of course, uh, Crimson Pirate, a lot of rare stuff. Divorced American style, uh, Western set, the Pirate set is really good. There's some of my MGM, not all of them, there's a few in this, are put here. Howling, of course, I've got the Scream Factor one as well. Turn Living Dead, Last House on the Left, Texas Chains of Massacre, Leviathan. Shredder, Swamp Thing, just a bunch, Brood, Scarecrow, some of my favorites. Squirm, and yes, I do have uh, Satan's Little Helper as well. Uh, some of their uh, double features, the Roger Corman collection, the Vincent Price collection, everybody's got to have that one. Here's a necessity for every set, I think, right now, for every collector. is the Jello set that came with so cheap, it's such good stuff. Blood Red Knights, Deadly Fiends, and Killers on the Loose collections. This is my trauma set. I had planned to go to a convention this year, but I bought a car instead. So it looks like I won't be getting to the convention, which is too bad, because I would have got to see Lloyd Kaufman again. And uh, get more of these awesome uh, DVDs that they put out. This here is my, uh, my Roger Corman uh, Shout Factory collection that I've got so far. Followed by the original Nightmare on Elm Street set, still one of the uh, benchmark sets for horror. My Russ Myers collection and my Batman set, and followed by Samuel Fuller. Come down here, and I have the complete McMillan wife. I'm almost complete nip talk. I'm watching se season two again right now. And the horror collection because I wanted that extra disc. Third Rock and Sun season five. You're going to see a lot of stuff that I bought over the last w couple of weeks now. Here's some extra stuff, Bionic Woman, Dead Like Me, uh, De Dead or Alive Seasons 1 and 2. All the cool stuff that I had, of course, Range Married with Children, everybody has. One Dead Coffin Set. This is some of my, uh, but not all of my uh, Anchor Bay stuff, uh, Black Sabbath, Six Horrors, Day of the Dead, Three Musketeers, and Top Motel Massacre, mm -hmm. Maximum. Over oh, job, great soundtrack and I want to start my delineate the original box and DVD and some legend double feature DVD. I got uh, some of the horror legacy sets, uh feel the phantasms, Demons and Demons 2. I'm thinking getting the Snaps versions with the, the Steelbook ones. Uh, Hellraiser 2 of course, Hellbound, because we got a Hellraiser on Blu-ray. I did in Breakfast, I just love that film, uh, The Hills of Eyes. My Baba Volume 2 set, uh Down to Dead. We're getting into my uh, Blunder, some of my Blundergrund stuff, Shaw, Conquest, Shockwaves, The Prowler, The Living Dead, and The Manchester Morgue, City of the Living Dead, Shock, The Fifth Corps, Teenage Hitchhikers, and other stuff now, 
Eaton Live, Devil's Reign, of course, Scream Factory, Funhouse, Deadly Blessing, Phantasm 2, The Howling, of course, my uh, Arrow stuff, uh, Birth Crested Plumage, the Gates of Hell Trilogy, Tear at the Opera, Steinel Syndrome, Sleepless, Tenebrae, The Card Player, Beyond Reanimator, Savage Streets, Island of Death, Slatter High Pieces, and of course, my Universal Monsters uh, Blu ray uh, coffin set. And of course, uh, Beyond Reanimator is signed by Jeffrey Combs. Great guy. Uh, my uh, Charlie Chan sets. I really need volumes one, two, and three. That's this is, these are volumes four and five right here. Uh, my Fox Horror Classic volume two. Mr. Moto volume two. This is my what I've gotten so far in the Fox Home Noir collections. Of course, my Film Noir sets. Uh, a few of those. A couple of the Gangster sets. Some of my uh, Criterions are there. I haven't added my new ones yet. There to yet. Uh, my Charlie Chaplin's. And right in that corner there is a couple of uh, film wires that I got from the Alpha brand label. I love Alpha, actually. Wilson Clark, the original Superman series, Magic Superman, Fancy Island, Friday the 13th. I really need to pick up the rest of those. Uh, Star Trek, uh, next year, the Klingon collection, I think I own this. I like that, actually. Yeah. Uh, jump, Tony Jump Street, have them all, but I got one loaned out. Uh, Night Gallery, Swamp Thing, Sliders, the favorite of mine, Millennium. Major Dundee, uh, My Man Godfrey, 13 Ghosts, there. I got still have a lot of the cool Universal uh, Legacy collections. Uh, of course, uh, 100 Years of Horror, one of the best uh, horror documentary boxes that I've found around it there. Uh, Babylon 5, yeah, I'm a fan. Uh, Evil Dead, Matlock, of course, I got uh, Psycho 2, 3, and 4 there. And uh, what is that there? Some, uh, I got the, uh, Prom Night set like my dad has, the uh, Twisted Terrace collection, uh, Peanuts, of course, I'm a big fan, Jake the Fat Man. That's the, uh, first lineup. Every one of those there, basically, has DVDs behind it, which I'll have to get into afterwards. But this is the first, uh, one looking at this. I'll be looking at Blu-rays, I'm looking at my other shelves, I'm looking at the shelves that are in under there, and I'm going to be looking at some of the other stuff as well, uh, so there's a lot, lot more to go through, but uh, this is the first in my overview of my collection. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and if there's anything you want that you haven't seen and you just want pointed out, just uh, put down in the comments below, and we'll get to it. And uh, especially if there's a set or something that you want to see uh, reviewed. I have a lot of sets, and I don't know which ones I reviewed and which ones I haven't, and which ones I've really gone through, so we'll get through to those after a while. But right now, even though you cannot see me, I am going off to boil the kettle because it is time for tea.